Amesy here of Amesy's Antics. Welcome to my channel. I hope you're well today because I am back with another crafty project. I know it's been a little while since I posted a project but I am back with another one and in this week's video I'm going to show you how to make tile planter boxes using up some old tiles or creating your own to create some really nice little planters for decoration inside or outside in the garden. So if you would like to see how to make your own tile planter boxes then let's get crafting. So I'm going to show you how to create your own designs on some blank tiles but if you already have some then I will try and add some chapters and you can skip ahead to the construction part. But here I have just printed out some designs that I like and then I'm just going to cut them out making them the same size as the tiles and I think my tiles, I'll link them down below, are 10 centimetres by 10 centimetres so that's what I have done with the designs that I've printed off. So now the design for the tile is ready to go, we just need to transfer it onto the blank tiles and I've used this method in a few videos so I can try and link some of them up above if you want to check them out as well. But basically all you need to get is a pencil and scribble all the way over the back of the design, covering it, fill it with a really nice thick layer of the lead pencil like so and this will be used to help trace the design and imprint it onto that tile. And then you want to take your blank tile here and place over that design that has the pencil shading on the back. Place this on the top and then using a pen or the pencil you want to Press down hard on the design and copy all the outlines that you need, following all the lines and this should then transfer the lead from the back of the paper onto the tile, giving you a faint outline so you know where to fill in with different bits of colour for example. Now I have done it this way because I am definitely not an artist and if I had done this freehand, the tiles definitely would not look great. They would look very rustic, but they would probably look like a four-year-old has done it. So this is my preferred method. So yes, just trace all of the design until you have it fully transferred onto that tile. And as you can see, the pattern has transferred on to the tile very faintly but just enough so that you can fill in the design in whatever colours you like. So to create the design I am using a paint pen and I believe these are acrylic paint pens. I will link some down below if you want to check them out. I bought these ones from the range I believe and they are really good at getting into those intricate designs and I believe you can actually buy ones with different thickness of pen tips so that you can get really intricate if you need the thin designs but all you want to do is just follow that pattern that you have designed and fill it in with your chosen colour. Now what I have found, I wanted a, quite a deep colour so I went over two or three coats with the paint pen but the design does come out really well in the end. So once you have completed your design with the paint pen, it is time to let it dry and then seal in that paint with some clear lacquer and I am using a spray paint version here. So what you want to do is follow all the instructions on the paint can and then spray an even layer to seal in that paint and I think in the end I ended up doing two 
to three coats of the clear lacquer just to really make sure that paint is sealed in because you don't want it running or the tiles becoming too porous and ruining the designs. So yes, give them a good coating and allow them to dry. And once the tiles are fully ready, it is time to construct the tile planter boxes and I'm using some tile adhesive to do so. And like I said, you can use existing tiles or the ones that you have created here. So you want to place one of your tiles down, pattern side down, and then take the tile adhesive and place it down one of the side edges, making sure that you have plenty of adhesive on there to adhere the next tile to it so then you want to take your next tile and place this upright with the pattern facing towards the outside sticking it down and smoothing that adhesive in to help it adhere on both sides now what I found with this was I needed something to help prop it up because it wasn't going to stay on its own so I am just using some old paint tins as well as a level edge square edge something like that I can't remember what it's called and this will just make sure that the square is going to be at a right angle and sitting as you want it to do you then want to repeat the process on the opposite side adding another tile to this side as so again smoothing down that tile adhesive to help it fully adhere in place and then using something to prop it up so it stays nice and straight and what I found is I have three different designs so I'm using two of the same designs per planter box and making sure these are opposite each other which as it turns out is then the top one for this so once the two sides have dried you then want to place a more adhesive on each edge that is upright and place the remaining tile down securing it into place and smoothing out that tile adhesive you then want to let these dry and cure so that they are fully stable before moving on to the next part of creating the tile planter box I let these dry and cure over a few days but I don't think it actually does take that long but this is them drying and in the process of curing then we want to just create a base for the planter because this is designed to have a plant pot placed into it rather than adding soil to it so what you want to do is just place the tile adhesive all around the four edges and then taking a blank tile that has been sealed so one that you haven't used any paint on but still seal it to make sure it's not too porous and then placing this onto the square structure so it creates a base now what I found is because of how the tiles were constructed the base didn't quite fit the whole way around so I made sure that I sort of positioned it so it was just enough on and then added more tile adhesive to fill in any gaps as you can see here I'm just going to smooth it down and again let this dry and cure for a few days and you also want to make sure that you are cleaning away any of the excess tile adhesive grout solution um, because this will stick to your tiles and leave a little bit of a mess on your design so all you need to do is use a damp cloth and wipe away any excess but this is how your planter will be looking and once it is dry you all you need to do then is add in your chosen plant and the DIY tile planter boxes are ready to go
they have how to make tile planter boxes perfect for adding to your decor inside or outside of your home. Now I love how these have turned out and the creativity involved in them so you can use existing tiles like I did for the bigger one um, but you can also then decorate your own tiles which I loved because you can just get the design you want or near enough the design you want and I am no way an artist so using the method of tracing onto the tiles works really well and gave the tiles a little bit more of that rustic look because obviously they're not perfect but you know handmade rustic look and I love it and these look beautiful with those plants in so let me know what you think of this project in the comments below and whether you'll be having a go at making your own tile planters I would love to know so put it in them comments and if you enjoyed the video then please do give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to keep up with all my creative and crafty antics coming up on to the channel and whilst you're there hit that notification bell as well because that will alert you each time a new video goes live and as I said at the start I have had a little break from making and posting all the projects just a little bit of creative burnout I guess and now I've got some more creative ideas coming forward so hopefully I will have a few more videos coming up onto the channel so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss them and I also have a blog which is Ames is Antics and it's linked down below and above for you to check out. Because sometimes there's just a little bit more information over on the blog so be sure to check it out. And with that said, I will see you in the next video and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and week and are able to do something creative and crafty to pass your time, like maybe make your own tile planters. The possibilities are endless with this creative project. And um, whatever you choose to do, I hope you have fun doing so. And until the next one, bye.